Hello, in this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can sort of instantiate FL Studio inside of Cubase so you can work with both DAWs. The first thing you want to do is go up to Studio, VST Plugin Manager, hit this little icon down here, VST2 Plugin Path Settings. If you're not on here, you can just click it and you know it'll turn up. Now you want to click the new one here, and then you want to navigate to wherever your FL Studio VSTI dot LLL file is. I've already done it and then you're going to click this little rescan all then it should turn up. So what you want to do is you want to add an instrument track and you can see I've already selected FL Studio VSTI. You want to add that I'm going to set the time offset here to zero. We're going to click this whole icon. This is going to open up FL Studio. Now I've got it on my other screen here. Let me just save it so that the name doesn't pop up. Hang on. So now, as you can see, I've got FL Studio ready and waiting. Now, you might be wondering, well, how do I navigate here? Because as we are in, as we're in uh, Cubase, we can't just navigate these guys and then start playing because it will go on and play the first track here. So how do we fix that? Well, let me just put up, let's do it back on the side window. I'll show you how. If you right click on the actual instrument track, you're going to add MIDI tracks. I'm going to add five for now. Now these MIDI tracks right here correspond to the location on the list here. Now I first thought that they corresponded to the mixer tracks in Apple Studio. That's not true. So you can see this first MIDI is that basic one down here. The second MIDI is going to be the square one. And just to prove that they don't correspond to mixer tracks, I'm going to do this. And it still plays. Right. So that's how you do that. Um, <clears throat> Now a little downside with MIDI tracks is you can only have 16 MIDI tracks per instrument. So you're going to have to, if you want to use like FL Studio for everything, you're going to have to go with multiple instances of FL Studio just to get everything in there. But that's how you do that. I'm going to go ahead and delete these tracks. I'll probably delete the project as well because I'm not going to use it. But that's how you link up those two DAWs to make them work together. Hope you guys liked that video. If you did, leave a like down below. Comment if you got any questions about how, you know, how to link them up. If you got any problems, you know, use the comment section for what it's worth. Subscribe if you want to support the channel. And if you want to see when I upload a new video, click that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.